Okay, hello class. Today I'm going to be giving you the lecture for time and dates. So if you open your books to page 73, okay, 73 in the middle, time and dates. And I really want you all to see how this is done with the dictionaries on. So make sure you use your dictionary so you can see how the times translate. Very, very important. And so we have time and dates. So I'm going to read the middle of the page there. Time giving just the hours written two ways, depending on how you want it to translate. So to have the time translate as number plus colon zero zero, you're going to include a final K with the numbers one through five. 10 and 12 include an initial K. Initial is in the beginning part with the number six through nine. For 11, which is two strokes, add the K final K to the second stroke, okay? So we've got, um, let me write this down. So one, up, one, if you wanted to come out with the colon zero zero, is gonna be one K stroked at the same time, okay? One K stroked at the same time. So let me just write this. One K, okay, is one o'clock. And you want the um, K to give you the, colon, zero, zero. 2K is 2K. Remember, it's gotta be the number bar two. Look at my notes over here with the K. This number comes out, this number, I don't know what that is, but it's just 2K. 3K is for the three colon zero, zero, so the three, you write them at the same time, okay? You've got 4K for four colon zero, zero, so four, with the, col with the K, final size. We've got 5K is five with the colon. So remember your five is your A with the number bar, final K. Okay, let me write that again. Uh, A with the number bar and then K. Okay, five, and it's gonna give you, the K will give you the colon zero, zero. The six is gonna be the K first. So it's gonna be the K with the number six. So make sure that you all know that. The K first with the six together, same stroke. Let me write that again so you all can see the K first, okay? And I don't know why this number keeps coming out over here, but just know that you write the K and the six. That's coming out and I don't know why. We've got K seven is K with the number seven at the same time, beginning K first, okay? And then you have eight is K first with the eight. So we're kind of changing the initial side. We're writing the numbers on the final side. So we're gonna use the initial K for the K. Think of K for clock. Okay, and then we write the number eight. Okay, and then we've got K nine. So K with number nine at the same time. And then we've got 10 is one zero at the same stroke one and the zero, okay? And then you're gonna write the K, so all three together. One, zero, K. Then we've got 11 is one first, and then um, you can write one K, okay? So for 11, we've got one first, and then we've got one K, and it'll give you 11. And then we've got 12, you're gonna write one, two, and then the K, all of it at the same stroke. Okay, so that's for when you want the number, which you're gonna write with the number, and then the K for the clock, but it's just the colon zero, zero, okay? Um, maybe you shouldn't think of it as clock because now we're gonna learn that clock with an asterisk gives you the O clock. So just think, I don't know, the beginning of clock is with the K sound, maybe that'll help you out. So going on to have the time translate as a number plus O clock, Write the number and add clock as a second or third stroke. So anytime we say o'clock, you're going to write clock with an asterisk. Remember, clock is just clock. But if you put the clock with an asterisk, it's o'clock. So you've got to include that asterisk. Very, very important. So let's write one o'clock is going to be one with the clock. And so one first and then clock with an asterisk. Okay. Let's write six o'clock. Make sure you listen to the homework instructions how to complete your homework. Remember, I use pre-recorded videos sometimes, so listen to the homework instructions. You really wanna make sure you're listening to my homework instructions, how to complete the assignments. That's 
always going to change every semester. So you need to listen to that because sometimes I use pre-recorded uh, lectures. So listen to the homework instructions with me covering it. That's how you complete your homework. Okay. Don't listen to the videos of sometimes I explain how to complete uh, how the meanings of assignments are done, you know, why you have to write a certain way, but your homework assignments are different and that's just done. It's in Blackboard. It should be the second item for each day and it's homework instructions with the video and then me telling you how to do it and then your homework sheet in that section. Okay. So I just wrote one o'clock and I'm going on to six o'clock. So let's write six and then you're going to write the word clock after that with an asterisk, okay? So there's, oh, I wrote seven o'clock. So let me write six and then clock, okay? And then we've got 11 o'clock. So it's the one, the slash represents that it's a separate stroke. So we're gonna write one and then we're gonna write one and then we're gonna write clock for 11 o'clock, okay? Uh, 12 o'clock, you're gonna write one, two together and then you're gonna write the word clock with an asterisk for the o'clock. Very important that you all understand that. And then it says to have the time translate as a number plus o'clock, write the number and add clock as a second or third stroke. And so I've just done that, I went back to that, sorry. For times involving hours and minutes, write, first write the hour in digits, then write KLN. Think of KLN for colon, which translates as a colon with no spaces before or after, then write the minutes in digits. Note that you may also write even numbers using this method. So when they say 530, they're not gonna say five colon 30, they're just saying 530. You have to know to put it in. So let's write the number five first, and then colon, because you have to know to put it in. A good writer will put it in. And then you're gonna write 30, and it's the three zero, and you can write that in one stroke, okay? So that gives you the colon. And then we've got 715. You've got to write the number seven first. And then you're going to write colon, KLN asterisk. And then you're going to write the one and the five. Can you write it together? Yes, you can. Okay, just make sure you get the number bar. Let me write that again. So 715, just so you can see, I like to break it up, is going to be seven. And then colon. And then one five. Okay. And I'm a little slow on this because I don't use my number bar. So going on, 1245, you're going to write one, two together. Colon is Cal N with an asterisk. And then four, five, you can write four, five, because the four comes before the five. So if that helps you to remember it, you can remember it that way. And then I'm going to write 355. So remember, I have to remember when I'm writing that to include that Cal N with an asterisk, so it'll put it together and recognize it as time. So we've got three, and then colon with an asterisk, and then five, five. Just write the five twice, okay? So that's what that is. So remember, K gives you the colon zero, zero. Um, it's only if they have like six, I was there at six, six a.m. So it's six colon, you can write the K for the colon zero, zero, o'clock, the word o'clock is clock with an asterisk. And then if they just say 530, you're putting in the colon just. So it's KLN with an asterisk, okay? Going on. We've got if AM on page 74 at the top or PM follows the hour, use AM and PM respectively. So just remember, AM is AM. So in order to make that stand out as AM, I gotta put the asterisk in, okay? PM, you got to put the asterisk in. Think of the asterisk as in PM, the, the periods that are in there. So AM is AM with an asterisk. PM is initial P final M with the asterisk, okay? So uh, sometimes people say I was there at 8 AM. So you're going to write 8, the number 8, and then AM with an asterisk, okay? And it's short A. Notice that it's short A. 8.30 AM, so you're going to write 8, the number 8. And then you're going to write colon, KL and asterisk. Then you're going to write three zero. You can write the three first and then the zero. And then with your number bar in the same stroke and then AM with an asterisk, okay? We've got 2 PM because people will say times differently. So you have to write two 
and then PM with the asterisk. 2.15 PM, so you've got to put the colon in there, so 2 colon, and then 1, 5, you can write the 1 and the 5 together, and then you've got PM with the colon, uh, with the asterisk, sorry, <laughs> I'm a little tired. 2.15 PM, okay, put the asterisk in. Dates are written as spoken and or as they should be transcribed. So remember, when we're in court, I kind of just write it, you know, as the date is spoken. So May 29 is going to be written May 29 is uh, 2 9, and we can write that in one stroke. And then you got to include your comma. And then 1992, 1 9, and then 9, and then 2. Okay? Uh, you've got 529.92. They don't say 5 slash, they just say 529. So you need to know that when you're editing to put in the slashes or as you write it. So we have 5, number 5. And then we have slash is SLRB. And then we've got 29 is the number 2 and the 9. You can write together. Slash again. Remember, punctuation, you leave out the vowel, so S-L-R-B, and then you write the nine and the two, okay? That's how that comes out. Then you've got the date 1995. How do you want to break it up? That's totally up to you. So I probably would do 19 first, the one nine, and then you do the nine, and then you do the five, okay? 1995, that's how you hear it broken up. And so days of the week, we have Monday, Think of mon, the M-O-N for the mon, and then the D for day. Tuesday is just T-long-U-Z. Wednesday is W-E-N-Z. Thursday is T-H-U-R-Z. Friday is F-R-I. Think of that for the fry and then the D for day. Saturday is S-A-T-D. Some of you may have an older book and you can write S-A-R-D. They both come out. So anytime you have options in there, you can pick whichever you like. The newer book, books don't have it, the older ones do, so you can decide. And then you have Sunday is sun and then D for day. We have January for the months of the year. I usually try and think of the abbreviation of how I would abbreviate it in English, and I think that helps. So January is J-A-N. How would you write Jan, Jan the name? I think you put in the asterisk, okay? But for January, the month, you just put J-A-N. February is F-E-B. March is M-A-R with an asterisk. April is P-R-I-L. May, think you want this capitalized. So you put in the asterisk for the capitalized version of the word May. Because sometimes you'll say, may I go, just May. But May is always capitalized. It's a proper name, so put the asterisk in. June, you have two options. You pick which either you want. Do you want J-Long U-N? Or do you want just J-U-N? You pick which one. July is J-U-L. August is A-U-G. September is S-E-P-T. October is O-K-T. November, you can pick either N-O-B or N-O-F. You pick whichever you like. You have options there. Anything in a bracket is an option. December is D-E-S. Okay? And sometimes I think um, Saturday might be a hard stroke, S-A-T-D for some people, so that's why S-A-R-D is a, a also another choice of how you can write it. You all decide which one, okay? Remember, um, Mar, March, we have to put the asterisk in because there is a word Mar, so read everything, don't skip anything. And then we've got plurals of numbers, so it says on page 74, opinions differ as to whether the plural of numbers should be created by adding an S asterisk or I'm sorry, an asterisk S, or by simply adding the S. Most style manuals say either is correct, as long as the intended meaning is clear. So be consistent in whichever method you adopt. So these are all plurals of numbers. So on the first section, we have the number one with, the with apostrophe S. We have 10, so it's one zero. You write that together. And then apostrophe is A-O-E-S for tens. Then we have 1920s. So you're going to write one nine. Look at your stenographic outline. Then you can write the 20 together. So the two zero with the number bar. And then you've got apostrophe S, which is long ES, 1920s. 
And then we have 1990s. So you're going to write, look at your stenographic outline. One nine. Then we have two zero. You can write that together. And then you've got apostrophe S. All these have the apostrophe. Remember your apostrophe is the long E. If I want to add apostrophe S, you just put the S with it. So then we've got 1990. So I'm going to write one nine together with the number bar. I'm going to write the nine by itself. I'm going to write the zero by itself. And then I'm going to write the long E S for the apostrophe S. 1990s. Okay. And so on the second column, we have the ones. It's just the number one, and then it's a second stroke final S. So number one, final S. Okay. This is the ones without the apostrophe S. Tens, you have one zero with the number bar and then S. It's final S. Okay. Final side. We have the 1920s. So you're going to write one nine, then you're going to write 20 together, and then you're going to write final S. 1920s. And then we have 1990s. So you're going to write one nine together, nine, and then you're going to write zero, and then you're going to write S by itself. Final S. Notice where my S is over here on the right side. Okay? Very, very important that you all realize that. And so cover everything. Uh, make sure that on your sentences, very important that you all include your numbers now. If you don't include the numbers on your exercises, you're going to have to redo it. So for example, sentence number one, you're going to include the number one first and then the period because you're practicing your numbers now. So on the bottom of 74, it tells you on your stenographic outlines that you have to include the numbers. So please don't have a redo because you didn't listen to this. And so I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I should mention to you. Um, Make sure you read everything. And remember, year old is an optional stroke for a six year old. So could you write year old, Y long E R L D? And it'll give you the hyphens already. Okay? So year old, you can write Y long E R L D. So, like on number 29, many 13 year old, it's hyphenated, so use the brief, Y long E R L D. Okay? And you have your stenographic outlines for um, sentences 26 to 35 on page 76. So make sure you take your time. You have the steno outlines. Listen to my homework instructions. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and dictate um, some punctuation. Okay. Going to lesson 14. And so let's remember your punctuation. Very, very important. And I'll dictate some of these sentences. Okay. So we've got period. FPLT is period. Comma is RBGS. Semicolon is FRBGS. And it'll give it to you in um, you're using your dictionary. Colon is FRPLT. Hyphen is HF. You've got dash. Remember, dash the word is D-A-R-B. Leave the A out and it's just D-R-B. And it'll give you a dash. You've got apostrophe is long E. Opening quote is a K-W-T. To close it, K-W-T-S. Slash is S-L-R-B. You've got question mark, S-T-P-H. Exclamation point is the entire left bank with the period. Think of that exclamation point. The period has to be in there, so it's the left bank with the period. And then you have uh, opening parentheses is the upper bank, the STPH, FPLT. Close the parentheses, STPH, FPLD. And then you've got paragraph is PF, initial P, final F. Asterisk is to make a, if you make a mistake, you hit the asterisk and it'll clear it. Okay? Go over your punctuation, and I'm going to dictate these sentences. Um, I'm on 14-1. And remember, we don't punctuate the, we don't say that, you know, comma in court. We just, you have to assume where the commas are. You have to know where to put them. Uh, you, I'm just going to give you these little sentences, and you have to know where the punctuation is, okay? So I'm incorporating uh, the first sentences, commas, the second, semicolon, 
uh, colons, you have hyphens, dashes, apostrophes, opening quotes, closing quotes, slash, opening parentheses, and exclamation point. And remember, we never use exclamation points in court when you're pre preparing a transcript because it makes it seem like the person is shouting. So we never use exclamation points in a real transcript for court. Okay, very important that you'll know that. And so remember, uh, real quickly, year old, if it's gonna have hyphens in it, you, you can write Y long E R L D. And then Meg, the name Meg is written M E G with an asterisk. Think Meg is capitalized, so you put the asterisk because it's different. Then, like Mega Bond, the prefix is M E G. And then Bond or mega, uh, Megaphone is Meg Phone, two strokes. Okay? So read everything. Remember, uh, real quickly, anything that ends in a D S, friends, dads, you can write D Z in the ending stroke. So friends is F-R-E-N-D-Z, dad's D-A-D-Z. Okay, so find a focal point. I'm gonna dictate um, some sentences and or little word groups first and then sentences, 14-1. And this is gonna be at 50 and 60. Make sure you have your dictionaries on so you can see that everything's translating, okay, cor cor correctly. Here we go. I'm not gonna give you the punctuation. You all have to know where the punctuation is. 50 words a minute. Ones, threes, and fives. Tom, George, Steve. Hot, warm, or cold. I looked, I saw, move left, move right, I dance, you sing, three ways, six signs, Five choices, eight five cent coin, three nine pound cats, a five year old. Loud and crude. Pam and Tom. Meg and Marge. The dog's bones. Three cats toys. Many boys games. Stay home. Come home soon. Please leave and or her him up down. Pam and Tom, her friends, her date, stay, stop it, look out. And so you have, and or you can write it in one stroke, S-K-P-O-R. So that's why it's really nice to use the SKP. You can write and or SKPOR. So I really recommend that SKPOR. And then um, just remember where to include your punctuation signs. Okay, so commas are BGS, uh, semicolon is FRP, FRBGS, colon FRPLT, hyphen is HF. 
Remember, a hyphen is smaller than the dash. The dash is larger, lo longer. DRB for dash, apostrophe is long E, apostrophe S, long ES, opening quote KWT, close the quotes KWTS, slash is SLRB, opening parentheses STFPLT, close the parentheses STPFLD, and then you've got exclamation point, question mark, or the entire left bank with the period, okay? Here we go, you all. This is at 60. Ones, threes, and fives. Tom, George, Steve. Hot, warm, or cold? I looked, I saw. Move left, move right. I dance, you sing. Three ways. Six signs, five choices, a five cent coin, three nine pound cats, a five year old, loud and crude, Pam and Tom, Meg and Marge, the dog's bones, three cats toys, Many boys games. Stay home. Come home soon. Please leave and or her him up down. Pam and Tom. Her friends. Her date. Stay. Stop it. Look out. Make sure you go over that lesson and that you look at your punctuation. And then now I'm going to dictate sentences and these are all going to be at 60 words a minute, okay? And it's page 67. 14-2 at 60 words a minute. And remember, I'm not going to punctuate the, I'm not going to dictate the punctuation. You all have to know. So UK, you all, is UK. U final BG is you can. You can. <clears throat> Here we go. Include your punctuation. Mm. I just wanted to tell you real quickly, George is spelled with a G in English, but it's the J sound. So George is J-O-R-J. -J. It's J, not G. It's George. Okay? Here we go. 60 words a minute. Get out watch out drop the gun now the three boys dads are late i will stay you will leave tell him her the job is filled. Did you pet the cat and or dog? Did you pick up your three boys toys? You can leave now I told her. I hate her type. Loud and crude. You will stay home, I stated. The six-year-old child started crying. The three girls' mom taught them well. Did you want your 10 pound fish stuffed? <coughs> Sam, Bart, and Fred are all in a good mood. Mom wanted the van. George wanted the truck. The soup came three ways.
hot, warm, or cold. Tom, George, and Steve, her friends, had left. I like them all. Ice cream, cake, and all treats. The young girls, Meg and Marge, left the house. I saw six signs, right, left, stop, start, up, and down. The young girls, Meg and Marge, ran out the door. The bride and groom, Pam and Tom, are well suited. The bride and groom, Pam and Tom, are well suited. I saw them leave the house. You saw them leave the house. And so real quickly, let me write a suited is suit, come back D. I don't know if you all had a hard time with that. Suited, S long U T, come back D. You've got taught, T-A-U-G-T, taught, T-A-U-G-T. You've got mood, M-A-O-D. Want, W-A-N-T, come back D. Leave is L long E-V. You have crude, K-R long U-D. Don't forget Andor is S-K-P-O-R. Late, L long A-D. L long A-T, three is T-H-R long E, okay? And going on, you all, lesson 15, some numbers. Remember, I just wanna give you some practice. And so um, the number bar is stroked with um, the e, the number one is the number bar, the letter S plus the number bar is one, T plus the number bar is two, three is three plus the number bar, four is four plus the number bar, five is the letter A plus the number bar, six is six plus the number bar, seven is seven plus the number bar, Four, let me do four again. And then you've got four, okay. Um, six plus the number bar, seven plus the number bar, eight plus the number bar, nine plus the number bar. So just put your hands on the little crevices. Zero is the letter zero or the O, I'm sorry, with the number bar, okay? Make sure you all know that. And so now we've got, I'm gonna dictate some of these numbers and just remember, um, I'll dictate some of the two digit numbers. Um, you all, I think it's best if you put commas in between to break up the numbers. Cause you have to know where to break them up cause they all come out together. So put commas in between, okay? Very important that you all do that. So here we go, I'm just gonna get dictate some number exercises and just have your dictionaries on so you can see where, how the numbers come out. Not during, but after, okay? I, I really just want you to write what I say. Here we go, put commas so you can break it up. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, zero, zero, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, 
four, six, seven, eight, nine, five, zero, four, three, two, zero, five, nine, eight, seven, six, five, one, zero, three, two, six, five, nine, three, seven, four, five, zero, six, eight, two, seven, four, eight, one, and nine. Okay, and then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go on to like two digits and three digits, okay? Here we go. So I'm going on to page 72, 15-2. Here we go, you all. Put commas in between the numbers. So like if I'm saying one, put a comma right after it. Just helps you break it up. Um, if I say... Okay, if I say 11, 1, 1, and then the comma, okay? So you know where to break them off. So when you, if you have to read back, here we go. These are numbers. 3, 6, 12, 18, 22, 16, 53, 50, 6, 76, 88, 61, 96, 59, 91, 74, 55, 80, 41, 88, remember in your book when it has a slash, it means the like six slash zero means the six is first, so you first stroke your six and then you stroke your zero, that means that zero is the second stroke, okay, so that's what it means, the slash in the book. 36, 84, 39, 96, 
21. Eighty one, twenty five, ninety six, one, sixty six, ninety, eighteen. Fifty two, thirty eight, eighty five, sixteen, ninety five. Thirty four, eight, ninety four, fifteen, forty, ninety six. Seventy seven. Fifty eight, nine, eighty nine, nineteen. Ninety five, fifty two, forty, thirteen, ninety eight, thirty four. Seventy eight, eighteen, sixty six, twenty seven, seventy nine, thirty six, seventeen. Forty three, thirteen, seventy four, ninety five. Forty one, ninety three, twenty, fifty nine, four. Eighty seven, seventy five, eighty one, seven, eighteen, fifty eight.
24, 93, 96, 21, 68, 85, 9, 35, 96, 22, 99, 7, 38, 62, 53, 11, 88, and now I'm going, those are two digits. Now I'm going to three digits, okay? You hear it and you write it however you want to break it up. 101. 476. 125. 123. 848. 671. 762. 150, 256, 933, 250, 569-327, 777, 742, 505, 181, 593, 525, 925, 369, okay? So very, very important that you all know where to break those numbers up, okay? So for example, like 671, so you can write the six and the seven together, right? So 671 and then the one. So six, seven, 
and then one, okay? Very important that y'all know where to break them up, okay? And that you put commas in between, very important. So 101, you could write the one and the zero, and then the one, and then a comma, okay? However you all wanna break it up. Keep practicing them, listen to my lecture as many times as you need to. I cannot stress how important the numbers are. You only get one chance to write those numbers, one number that, that you're off, and it's totally wrong. So make sure that you practice and practice and um, as many times as you need to until you get these numbers mastered. And that's it, you all. Have a wonderful day, and please let me know if you have any questions. Remember to listen to your homework instructions that are in Blackboard for each day to complete your homework assignment. Sometimes the lectures are off a little bit, so I want you to follow the homework assignment that I recorded every day in Blackboard, okay? Have a great day, you all.